Hello, this is the Justin, and today I'm going to be talking about some crap that really, really, really is starting to pee me off. Well, it's not that bad. Well, it is that bad, but it's not that bad, but it is that bad. Um, I've been meaning to make this video for a very long time. Uh, I got a little bit of free time, so I just want to make a quick video, alright? I want to talk about hipsters. I want to talk about this new thing that is cool to hate everything. People call me a hipster. People say, hey, Justin, hey, Justin, you, you hate everything. You don't like everything. And you know what? That's true. It's a lot of stuff that I hate. But I always have reasons for things that I hate. And yet, some type of respect for some of the things that I hate. Like, I'm like Lex Luthor, right? I hate Superman, but I respect him enough not to just let anybody kill him. So that's how I am with things. But I don't like uh, hipsters who who have this problem that that they think that it's that it's cool and they feel that they have this self worth that is so exponentially bigger than everyone else's that they have to go on the internet every single day and troll about what they don't like. Now here goes the thing. It's fine if you hate things. I don't mind it. But you cannot hate everything. You can't hate things that are good. And good, that's a that's a very opinionated term. So I'm not going to even use the word good. You cannot hate things that are quality. All right, now me, everybody knows I have an immense knowledge of things that don't matter. Fiction. Um, fiction. Fiction. Fiction in any form, it doesn't matter. Arts, entertainment, it doesn't matter. So I hate it when I go online and I see kids arguing about uh, how Spider-Man doesn't have web shooters and Amazing Spider-Man, and this is gonna suck because Tobey Maguire is the only Spider-Man. Come on, you have no idea what you are talking about. I hate the kids who say, uh, "Dark Knight Rides is another Dark Knight." Oh my God! And like, thing is, I'm not gonna even use the word "kid," all right? Because I use that term loosely. I'm talking about grown-ups, or right? I'm talking about people who use all these huge words and they try to, uh, they they try to make an entire thesis on why uh, Dark Knight wasn't as accurate as it could have been because it only skimmed the problem of moral decay. Who cares? I do. I do. I thought it was excellent. You know, still the greatest comic movie of all time. Screw the Avengers. I'm sorry. I love the Avengers. The Avengers is awesome, but it was just a comic book movie. It didn't change anything. All right. But I hate people talking about how much they hate something, first of all, that they haven't even seen yet, and second of all, that they have no idea what they are talking about. I don't know sports. I'm not going to go upstairs Sunday and sit down and watch football with my dad and say, nah, this isn't good. His stats are all wrong. They're not going to make it this year. I don't know what the freak I'm talking about. I don't watch sports. So why would I argue that, that something sucks if I don't know what it means? It makes no sense. The same as all these people on the internet trolling about what's good, what's quality, and what's not, and always being wrong. What is it with you people? You have no idea what you're talking about. It's two types of audiences. It's the general audience, and it's the informed audience. If you are a general audience member, just accept it. You don't know what the freak you're talking about. Go sit down, watch the movie, listen to the song, play the video game, enjoy it or don't enjoy it. But don't go on the internet and, and troll and do a whole bunch of vlogs and blogs about what you don't like about it when you have no idea what you're talking about. I don't understand this. It is beyond me. If you are a part of the general audience, sit there and shut up. You're the general audience for a reason. And a lot of people like to try to, I don't know, they try to test me, they try to size me up. They feel like they have to they have to give themselves, you know, some type of boost or a pat on the back if they attack Justin. And oh, you know, I'm gonna I'm gonna jump in on this comment that you made on YouTube. And you know, I'm gonna tear you down and break you down. And and they have no idea what they're talking about. This one kid uh, freaking try to Superman and, and swap down and, and defend this other kid who said that Peter Parker was never smart enough to make web shooters in the comics. And then defended the kid by saying, well, originally he wasn't created that smart. 
first of all, who was talking to you? And second of all, what do you mean first? Well, what are you talking about? Concept? Are you talking about the conceptual stage? Well, if that's the case in the conceptual stage where you work out what ideas work and don't work, I guess you don't like Batman for wearing black and having a cape because in the original concept, he wore red and green. I guess you don't like Wolverine. I guess you want a six foot eight pretty boy with blonde hair. Maybe that's the reason why you like Hugh Jackman, because that's how Wolverine looked in the original concept state. So don't come up to me talking about crap that you don't know. Like I said, people, I don't know a lot. I'm not that smart. But the things that I do know, I know a lot about. So if you're going to argue with me, please, 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 at least have something to stand on. Don't ask me about comic book trivia, then the next week tell me why one superhero can beat another superhero. If you're the general audience, accept it. Everybody cannot be fans. Everybody cannot have an opinion. Everybody says opinions are like buttholes. Everybody has them. Yeah, well, you know what? Well, some of you guys have really clogged buttholes, and you need, I don't know, what's that, colonoscopy? Yeah, you need something to drain that out, because you have no idea what you're talking about. I kind of ran it there for a second. I didn't, I didn't know I was going to go off like this. I had no idea it was going to be like this. Now i got to rethink my entire life now. Everything's changed. Everything's brighter for some reason. I, I feel like a, a tremendous weight has been lifted off my shoulders. Straight pride.